Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Uh, today we're going to be doing a run-up of everything that's happened with my unemployment, my PUA, and my recent stimulus, and I guess both stimuluses here, because I've had issues with all of them. Now, I just want to be clear, I've gone back to work. The position that was eliminated has come back, so thankfully, I have a job to go to, but not everybody does, and why I'm making this video now is because the videos that I've made in the past are great reference materials. So if you can, look back to those videos, look in the comment section, there's a lot of good answers and good information there, but I'm going to try and consolidate everything here and uh, try to give you the best information that I possibly can, but again, check out the playlist. It's the uh, unemployment playlist, playlist, and that will definitely help you out with so many different things, um, including unemployment, pandemic unemployment assistance, and the stimulus checks. So what happened originally is I stopped working midway through March of 2020, and I applied soon thereafter, I believe maybe in the first week of April. At the time, I thought that there was a waiting period that I did have to wait. Um, I don't believe that that is in existence right now. There is no waiting period. So as soon as you lose your job, immediately apply for unemployment. Give all the right information. We'll revisit that statement later. Um, let's see. I believe when everybody else received their stimulus payment the first time, Mine immediately went in. Um, I do my taxes with H&R Block, so I had direct deposit for my tax refunds, and because of that, it was able to go right into my account as soon as it was announced, so that was quick and easy. And that first stimulus payment was, what was it, $2,000, yeah. So that helped out a lot, because I did not receive unemployment or PUA, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, for about two to three months and I was in this limbo not knowing exactly what was the issue. Now the worst part about this was the communication from the government uh, was so bad that I couldn't get a straight answer. Originally it was so hard to get in contact with somebody over the phone because that is what I recommend doing. Talk to people over the phone. Don't wait for people to respond to an email or message them. Those are good backup things if you're not able to talk to somebody on a specific day, but you also have to make sure that you call over and over and over. And uh, the best thing that you can possibly do is speak to multiple people because I have been given wrong information by one person, a more junior associate, and when I did speak to a more senior associate, that's when I got things cleared up and I was able to start getting my payments. <clears throat> now, let's see what we should touch on. Okay, first stimulus payment, that was accepted, that went in, I was fine with that, and... Um, by the way, yes, if you are still eligible for the PUA payments and if they're still a thing in your state, they, you can apply for unemployment and PUA together. So just know that and um, do the application. You will most likely be prompted a little bit after you do unemployment. I was prompted through an email to fill out the same information on a PUA form. So I did that too. <clears throat> now, what was the issue with mine? Again, hindsight is twenty twenty, so I have a clear picture to what happened with my issue, or yeah, with my payments. And the issue was they had incorrect information because I gave my information on the form for unemployment and PUA. And because I didn't hear anything for a month, I reapplied. And one of those two pieces of information was incorrect, and it happened to be my social security number. So the problem was, when I was entering the proper social security number on the phone call prompts, they were not finding my application, they were finding an incorrect application. And when I was talking to an automated system, of course there was nothing to say, oh, you made this mistake, please go and fill this out. But the problem also was the associates, the junior associates, I believe now they, I don't know if this is still true, but there is a lot of people filing wrongfully for unemployment either through other people's social security numbers or just they were ineligible in filing anyway. There's a lot of fraud. So they were directed by maybe their superiors to not give you any more information than 
possible. And in this case, it kind of hurt me because I had submitted the wrong social security number, which was not mine, but I was able to give them the correct one when I was prompted to, and they, on their screens, they were looking at it and they're like, this doesn't line up. We're going to push this and we're not going to give him any more information because they said, and what they said was, we will get back to you when we have more answers for you, don't worry. And all in all, that was not the truth. Uh, they were never going to get back to me and it was only when a senior associate said, this is what they're instructed to do, they're not supposed to give you any more information, by the way, this is incorrect and something you should look into. So I reapplied, made sure and double checked, triple checked that the form for unemployment was correct and the next week I did receive it and I did continue receiving it until I went back to work. I believe it was October or November, I can't remember. It's kind of fuzzy, it's just last year, just like for so many of us, it was hard and trying to focus back on that time um, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty hard. So I did receive anything at, I'm sorry, I did receive everything at the end, but originally because I was out of work for all that time and I did not receive anything for about three months, I was owed a lot of back pay and I did not receive that back pay until about maybe two months after I started receiving the unemployment weekly payments and pandemic unemployment assistance payments. And that was another trial too. They didn't know who to send it to. It was still under direct deposit. They wanted to clarify, oh, were you definitely not working for these dates such and such here? I had to clarify and I got, I did get, receive those payments. I received half of them in a lump sum and then another half, which I had to fight for again. Now the, the main thing is here is you need to follow up as much as you possibly can. I don't know how much time you have during the day, but you have to make sure to call them and you have to make sure that you have the correct information every single time. If you don't have the correct information or if you give it wrong to them once, they most likely will not speak to you any further and they will push you. And that's where you don't get any help whatsoever and that's the worst thing that can happen to you because there's so many of you that need your money immediately to pay rent to do a lot of different things that um yeah it's hard to not have your money and i wish the communication was better like i wish if there was misinformation that i gave to somebody a rep or maybe put on a form they would alert me but all in all it's just a lot to be done but eventually i did get it and again Put the right information down, triple check the information that you write down in your form, call multiple times and speak to multiple people. Get through, wait for 30 minutes or longer. Um, you have to make sure you speak to a real person and just ask, be upfront. Hey, is my social matching this? This is what I have on my physical card. It's here in front of me. I am not trying to commit fraud. You have to make sure you say all these things and be clear and upfront with these people so that you can get the money that you deserve. And yeah, it's going to be tough getting it. You may have to jump through some hoops. You may have to ask the same question to multiple people, but <clears throat> that is what I did. And again, I want to remind you, um, any questions, put it in the comment section below here so that I can answer them, so that other people can answer them and you can help each other because there's still a lot of people dealing with issues about getting unemployment, the pandemic unemployment assistance, and their stimulus checks. <clears throat> so speaking of stimulus checks, um, the last one for $600, now there may, need, there may be more because that was just announced here on what day is today? The 14th of January, so possibly on the 20th or maybe a little bit soon after that, we will be getting about 1,400 more, which would be great for a lot of us. Um, the first time that I was announced that you would get $600, I was like, okay, that's great. I'm assuming this is going to be deposited directly into my account again, and then nothing. So I did get see an announcement for a website that you could check. You put in your in, put in your sorry, you put in your information, and it will let you know what the statuses of your stimulus checks are.
So I entered my information. It said the first stimulus check you received on April such and such, I think 12th or something, and you're all good. It was deposited into my account and I could see the last four digits of my account and that was correct. Uh, the second payment said, oh, you were paid on January the 4th and here it is. Oh, it's the 5th, what's going on? And it was paid into an account that I had no idea of. Now, a lot of payments have been sent to the wrong people. Again, call, make sure all your information is correct, and hound them until you get your payment, depending on how much you need this. Now remember, a lot of people are calling. There were a lot of issues where payments were directed to the wrong accounts, and I believe maybe this was one of those issues here. But to be clear, I did my taxes with H&R Block. I accepted my direct deposit to H&R Block. It was sent directly to H&R Block. And I did receive an email, I believe on the 7th, saying we did receive this payment <clears throat> or these payments from the IRS. We will be diverting them into your bank account. First, that's not something that should happen. Your money should be deposited the same way that it had been. There should be no going through a bank and then going to you. That's something that I just don't like. It should be done the same way with the same information because for my tax refund, that information never changed. Maybe I typed in something for my unemployment and that affected something else differently, but my bank account never changed. It should have never been direct deposited or sent on a card or anything like that or pushed to h and Block and then pushed to me. That is something that I don't see as trustworthy that's an issue and I hope other people don't really have to deal with that. If you do, contact the people that you worked with to do, enter your direct deposit information to check to see. Because if you don't recognize the account number, it could be that maybe your accounting firm has it or it could be that it has been wrongly deposited in somebody else's account because we're going to have to deal with this all over again when we receive possibly the 1400 um, additional stimulus to bring it up to an even 2000. So we'll see exactly what goes on. But again, I have to say this again and again, make sure the information that you put is correct. Triple check it and make sure it is correct. If you don't receive a confirmation within a day or two, or if you don't receive your payment within like a week, make sure to contact, um, your government agency. And for me, it's New York State. I had some issues where I was working in New Jersey. Now I live in New York State and work here, so that's a little bit cleared up for me. But you just have to make sure to hound them at, make sure you have the right information in front of you, and just clarify, clarify, clarify. It's always going to be the best. But again, we have a playlist of all this information that you can possibly need so make sure to check that playlist because that's going to help out a lot. Uh, help you, help others, share the video. It's definitely been helpful to um, have this on YouTube. It's been good for me to make. I feel like I'm giving back just a little bit with the information that I gained. But it's usually the simplest things. In this case, it was the simplest thing. I put the wrong information, and for whatever reason, the associates that were on the phone with me, they did not want to clarify that. I had to force clarify this. But I hope this is good information for you, and I hope this recap kind of helped everything come together. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, any comments or questions, put it in the comment section below there. I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck with everything. Be safe. I will see you next time.